Hi everyone, welcome to our latest edition of the Fuel for Faith series. I uh, really trust that you have found these encouraging and that you found them helpful. Um, and I want to encourage you from uh, by an illustration today from the Word of God. But I first want to remind you of a scene from The Lion King. So for those of you who can remember the movie, there's an alpha male lion. He is the king. His name is Mufasa. And he takes Simba, who's his son, who is going to be king one day, to the top of Pride Rock. And he shows him the entire kingdom that Simba will one day rule and that Mufasa is currently ruling. And he says to him, you see, everything the light touches, Simba, is yours. And you will rule over this one day. And Simba looks and he's amazed. And as far as his eye can see, the light is touching everything. But far off in the distance, in the corner, there's a dark, shadowy place. And Simba says, Dad, what about that dark, shadowy place? And Mufasa says, no, Simba, you must never go there. Um, and if you can remember the story, that as soon as he gets his first chance, that is exactly where Simba goes. Um, and I want to use that as a picture or as a metaphor for how many, many people see life. They see life as this place where the sun shines everywhere on everything that they can do and uh, everything they can be. And all they have to do is they have to avoid the dark, shadowy extremes. So as long as you are not a serial killer or a person who hurts other people or does really bad things on the extreme, as long as you don't do those things, you can do as you please. The land is yours. Whatever you say goes. Live your life. You are number one. You are competent to, to see any truth that, that you believe that you can see. And that is often how we believe and how many people live their lives. But what we see from Scripture is that God creates the world. He creates this paradise. And through one man, Adam, sin enters this paradise. And this paradise becomes corrupted. Uh, darkness enters the world. And, and we know that darkness is the absence of light. This, this evil, this darkness enters the, the world. Um, and and we, we see this in the time that we're living at this in at the moment. This coronavirus that has swept throughout the entire globe is something of the evidence of the corrupted and fallen world that we live in. It's something of the evidence of the, the darkness that has crept into the world that, that we live in. Um, and if you think the darkness out there and the evil out there um, is, is terrible, um, it, it, it often pales into insignificance compared to the darkness that actually resides within each and every single one of our own hearts. And that's a harsh truth and that challenges everything that is being taught at the moment. Every place you look will tell you you are wonderful and you are perfect and everything you think is magnificent and you can do anything that you think is possible. But actually there is darkness that lives inside of us and we need a light. And the thing about darkness is that it blinds us. And no, your TV or your um, phone has not stopped working. I have simply turned out the lights. And what you can see is nothing. But the psalmist in, in Psalm 119 verse 105, it says, Your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. And just like this, in a world filled with darkness, in a world that is corrupted, the word of God is a light unto our feet and it leads us to a path of everlasting light. And then we know that, that Jesus, he, he comes to earth and um, he heals a blind man and he says, I am the light of the world. In this place of darkness, in this place of sin, in this place of, of desperation and hopelessness, Jesus steps in and he is the, <coughs> the light of the world. He is what lights our path. He is what opens our eyes, just like that blind man. All of us are blinded by the darkness that we see in this world. And, and in Jesus, we see a light. We see a path to eternal life. We see a path to, to one day standing face to face with, G, with, with God and being declared holy because of what Jesus did, because of the light that he shone, that he illuminated our path. So during this time, as we look and we see something of the evidence of the corrupted, fallen world that we live in, I would encourage you to, to 
to just like the psalmist said, to find the light that, 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 that illuminates your path, that leads to, to Jesus and that lights the way to being um, and then spending an eternity in heaven with your Father. So as I said, the thing about darkness is that it blinds us. But in Jesus, we have found a light. Thank you.